All right, so the second wrinkle in my crazy day. This is a 1964 AMC Rambler. Ooh, everyone say it with me. Ooh. So anyway, my Rambler uh, has been uh, kind of a project going on. Everybody, you know, you've probably seen the videos. Uh, my 2013 Dodge Ram has gotten in a wreck and I'm driving this thing every day. Well, I posted some videos recently about changing out the thermostat and uh, the intake manifold. The thermostat that was on here was uh, from a Canadian block and it was set up for 210 degrees to come on and I needed something a little bit warmer because we live in the south and 210 is too hot for it to turn on. I need it to be cooler. So I found one that was rated for 160. Okay, I put the sucker in and uh, everything seemed to be fine. I noticed that my temperatures were running cooler and it was running smooth and I was like, all right, I fixed it. Hooray me. Hooray me. But over the last couple weeks, I guess since I've done it, uh, I've noticed that it's starting to give me a little bit of trouble. Uh, the car's getting harder to crank and it's running hotter and I was like, what in the world? So yesterday I got off of work and uh, my step, my, my youngest boy needed me to pick him up from college. Um, so I went to pick him up and on the way home, which is only like a couple miles from here, on the way home I'm accelerating and I hear something go and I was like, what is that noise? And it drove on home and it drove okay, but I noticed that as I'm driving at home it got hotter and hotter and hotter. I'm watching the temperature gauge uh, climb up and I'm like, that's not good. And when I pulled up here in the garage and I parked, I turned the engine off and I heard a noise I never heard before. Steam gurgling out of the front of the engine. I'm like, what is that? Why is the steam coming from the front of the engine? I don't know what's going on. So I come up here and I open up the hood and sure enough, there's steam. Now the cool thing is, is because I've used this neat little piston head thing as a, uh, um, like a filler cap for the overflow, it actually had steam coming out of the little holes on the piston. I thought that was a pretty cool effect. I didn't get it on camera or anything, but um, I was more or less just trying to fix the damage before I could think about getting the camera. Now there's some folks out there, I'm not going to say anybody per se, but maybe 63 Impala 2 door. If you go on his little YouTube channel, you could see him catching his leg on fire and then nonchalantly going, hey, let me get my camera. This will be a good video. So he talks to the camera for about a minute and a half, then he goes, now look down and my leg's on fire. And he points down at his leg and his leg is on fire. He did all of that before he pointed at his leg and went, look, my leg's on fire. And then his leg's on fire and he puts his leg out. That's pretty ballsy. Now he's got more, more oomph than I do. I mean, if my leg's on fire, I'm putting that sucker out and then I'm thinking, oh, I should have got that on camera later. Maybe. Anyway. Ken, you're the man. Uh, anyway, we're uh, trying to assess the damage. Uh, I called my dad and talked to him about it last night and as we're as I'm describing to him what's going on oh during the process my wife's car needs to be jump started and my car won't jump start it so I'm describing all this to my dad and my dad goes have you checked the fan belt and I went er no so when I come over here to check the fan belt you'll never guess what I saw look in here I'll, I'll get you guys to look inside of here Look at that. That's the fan belt. That's not supposed to be there. That's supposed to be on the engine. And he goes, well, son. Let me flip you guys around again. Oh, I'm getting used to this camera. He says, well, son, the fan belt needs to run the water pump, which would explain why it's overheating, and it needs to alternate the current from the battery, which explains why you can't jump start your wife. So, there you go. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> 